welcome to this drum talk and today I'm going to talk to you about um, a topic that I think a lot of the drum community thinks about a lot which is will my drum cover get blocked now let me put it to you this way if you are doing drum covers there's always a possibility that the artist that you're doing the drum cover from may block your cover so there's almost no telling how they choose which covers to block. But one thing is for sure, that if you're doing an artist and the artist for some reason wants to block your cover, your cover will get blocked. Now there's a great video on this topic with Rick Beato. I don't know if you follow Rick Beato. Rick Beato is huge on YouTube, huge with the music and music publishing and learning about music and all I can say is every, anybody who's a serious musician should tune into Rick Beato's channel, but he's got some great videos about his problems with copyright infringement according to YouTube with some of the stuff that he's done. And he, he a lot of times analyzes songs, just analyzing the song gets him a copyright problem and the video gets taken down or blocked. He's actually gotten some strikes. But if you or I get a strike, we're not gonna be able to deal with it the way Rick Beato does. Rick Beato's got two million subscribers, he's got an audience. And if you've got an audience of less than two million, you're probably not gonna be heard very easily. So the word is, if you want to do drum covers on YouTube, you have to be willing to do the cover and possibly get it taken down or told you cannot show the video. Now, many of my videos are partially blocked videos. There's a difference between blocked and partially blocked. When we talk about partially blocked videos, that means certain countries cannot see my video, which changes the viewership of my videos considerably. The artists I love playing are famous artists and the way I like playing their their songs is playing songs that are from the original artist so I am very susceptible to getting my songs my videos blocked and a lot of times the compromise is publishing it as a partially blocked song so many of you see the songs I do and some of you don't see the songs I do and it depends on which song it is and which countries get blocked in but the one thing I've learned is partially blocked is not a problem. Sometimes they want to do uh, revenue sharing. Sometimes they want to take all the monetization from you. I don't really care about monetization except for my own videos. And the majority of my drum covers are not my video. But they do have my playing on them. And I think it should be, they should be seen under fair use. Now, fair use has some different guidelines. If you notice in my descriptions on my videos, I have a little statement about fair use for educational purposes. A lot of drummers watch videos to learn how to play the song. And I play a lot of videos and guys will write me and say, hey, I never knew you could play it that way. Or I never knew how to do those rim clicks at the beginning of the song that happened this weekend. I was doing one is the loneliest number um, it's the song One by Three Dog Night, and a guy wrote me this week, and he said, I never thought about how to play those cross sticks, and never, never clicked till I watched you do it, and then I listened to the song. And then all of a sudden, the three against two feel in the clicks made sense to him. So people do learn from these drum covers. They're not all for entertainment. Matter of fact, I learn from my drum covers. The reason why I do drum covers on YouTube <coughs> is to basically learn about my playing. And over the last three and a half years I've been doing YouTube consistently and watching my videos and listening to my sound and listening to how I lock with a song, my playing has gotten better. I mean, I think I'm playing better today than I was in my 20s. I may not have the fire of my chops like I had in my 20s, but I think the musicality of my playing is extremely high right now. And if I get on a bandstand with musicians, it comes out with those musicians. And my goal for doing YouTube is to keep my chops up so when I play on the bandstand, either at a church or a gig with 
a band I'm in, let's say, or if somebody calls me for a freelance gig or a studio session, my chops are up to top condition. I'm still playing. So I've never stopped playing since I was a kid. From 15 on, I've been playing drums. And I've been blessed to have a space to play drums in. And this is a blessing to have a space to play in. So the idea of doing drum covers to me is about me learning and about others learning from it. So I do my drum covers and it falls under educational use. But sometimes fair use is not allowed to be used when we talk about YouTube videos and the artist. And I want to give you a little picture of this right now because right now I'm sitting on about eight covers in my, um, in my playlist I call private videos. I actually have a playlist that most all my videos go into when I start. So whenever I make a video, <clears throat> I immediately save the video to the private playlist. And the private playlist basically tells me says private videos waiting for release. It tells me which songs I have waiting for release. Well, as I go down my list, okay, here's the songs that are not, that you cannot see that I've recorded. Some have been recorded over a year ago. Spinning Wheel by Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Others get it on, but I can't get that song on. I've Never Been In Love Before, Chicago, but from Chicago 8. Have any of you ever heard of that song? If you're not a big Chicago fan, you probably never, never heard of it. But the writers of this Chicago song don't want it on YouTube for some reason. So that song is not for use. It's probably owned by a, a movie or something. And they don't want anybody using it for some reason. I can't figure out why most Chicago songs get on, but this one doesn't. And I've tried three or four times to put it on. Billy Joel, Scenes from an Italian Restaurant. I did that cover before I started to become big in YouTube. It's been blocked for a long time. I just didn't know it. I only had 50 or 60 views on it. And probably as I got bigger, my channel got bigger, people started finding it. Now you can't find it. I redid the cover, Drumless, this year. And it got blocked immediately. By the way, some of these covers I'm talking about can be found on my Instagram account on IGTV. So if you subscribe to my Instagram, Earl, at Earl Drum on Instagram, you will find I have an IGTV account. I have one that's called um, Drum Covers Only for Instagram, or Instagram Only Drum Covers, I think it's called. A lot of these videos that cannot be played on YouTube are found on Instagram. Scenes from Italian Restaurants, one of them. Matter of fact, I did a great version of it, a much better version than the first one I did years ago. Here's one, Just Once, James Ingram, forget about it. Matter of fact, anything from the Quincy Jones album, The Duke, you can't play on YouTube. Just it's not going to happen. So James Ingram got cut twice, then I did 100 Ways from the same album, not happening. Um, then all of a sudden... I did a few covers, and they were fine the day I put them on, so I thought I was going to be able to release them. And here's a few of the ones that came out that are problem childs now for me. No Tell Lover by Chicago. I don't know when that became a problem. It was about middle of January. I was just getting ready to release it. Got blocked. Can't release it. Another one I did from Boss Skaggs. Look What You've Done For Me. Boss Skaggs from the, uh, the movie Urban Cowboy, I believe. Great ballad. I had a really nice version of it. It's done. Can't put it on. Um, so, oh, here's the latest one. This is the one that happened. I've been playing a lot of R&B covers this past month. And this one was Roberta Flack, Feel Like Making Love. Nope. Can't be played. It's not happening. All this to say is not to basically say, Sour grapes or sour apples or whatever you want to call it, you know, and I'm so upset. I'm not upset. It's the cost of doing business on YouTube. For me to have a YouTube channel means I put content up. Um, if I just did talking videos, I might get some followers, but I think the drum covers bring people here and they see I'm a player. And then when I talk about equipment, it makes sense to them. See, if you're not a player and you're talking about equipment, then they go, well, what, how do you play? 
Everybody now knows how I play. Everybody knows I can play. There's certain things I play better than others, you know, but I'm a player. People see that. So when I talk about Pisces symbols, it means something. When I talk about Zildjian symbols, it means something. When I talk about my gear, it means something. When I talk about how to approach something, it might mean something to some guys. So that's why Ask Girl Anything's been popular is because guys saw I was a player and I could play and they would ask questions and I would give comments. So the drum covers led to having a talking video career where people listen to me talk like you guys are today or ladies are today. Bottom line, there's certain artists you're not going to get on. I don't even try doing some of these artists now. The Eagles, I've had Eagles videos blocked early on. Paul Simon just gets blocked. My first 50 Ways cover got blocked. Um, matter of fact, that 50 Ways cover, I put it out as a drum-only cover, and guys have played along to it and made videos with my cover, which is cool. That's cool. I'm part of their video. By the way, I do that periodically for people. I've done a few of those for people. But Paul Simon, not going to happen. Bob Dylan, not happening. I've done a few Bob Dylan songs, and they all get blocked. So Bob Dylan, Paul Simon, the Eagles, um, usually Fleetwood Mac. Usually Fleetwood Mac doesn't get through. Um, I'm finding out Quincy Jones doesn't get through. Roberta Flack doesn't get through. So there are certain artists that don't see the value in anybody else have to use their videos, and they will block them. Their publishing companies will block. The funny thing is, it's probably not the artist, believe it or not. And in Rick Beato's case, he got blocked. Um, I think one of the songs he got blocked on was a Toto song. And when Steve Lukather figured out that Rick Beato got blocked, matter of fact, he had him on his channel this week, and they were talking about it, Steve Lukather wants to see his, his video, his their music analyzed by Rick Beato because Rick Beato is a pro. And he loved the fact that Rick Beato took the time to do that. So it's not always the artist, but it's the publishing company that for some reason doesn't want us to utilize their videos for drum covers. But all I got to say is be careful how you pick your songs and any artist could turn on you. You just don't know when an artist is going to say no. A lot of my favorite one hit wonders songs are blocked in partially blocked songs. Um, like Brandy, Looking Wheel, uh, uh, Looking Glass, Brandy, that song. Um, that song is partially blocked. But there's a lot of them. If I was to go down through my, my video list and just look at how many partially blocked I have, I would probably have probably close to 50 to 100, somewhere in that between those two numbers. Because I have a lot of videos on there. So this is my little rant for today. It's about YouTube. It's about publishing videos. Um, there is a method on YouTube. You can supposedly look up songs. I don't do that. Okay? And the other thing is, it may have to do with the level of artist you become on YouTube. Like, maybe when you cross 1,000 subscribers, they start caring for some reason. Maybe if you've got 12 subscribers, they don't. I don't know the difference. Um... But for me, I'll, I will tell you 50 Ways was, you know, I had 250 subscribers at the time and it got blocked. So I'm not so sure it has to do with subscribers, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Anyhow, thanks for watching this video on this subject and hopefully I'll be doing some more videos in the future. Appreciate it. And if you have any questions, please ask questions. By the way, you can ask questions on any of my videos, and they could end up in Ask Earl Anything. Next Ask Earl Anything is going to be in March, and I'm looking for some questions right now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.